Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. I am Felix Blakes. Today I'm going to show you a very simple way to create this flyer. Okay, very simple way to create this flyer. So in order to do this, what we need to do is we need to bring two sets of images, my image and then the background. So I will go in for the image. So I'm using this image. So I can place this one here. Then I'll go in for my second image, which is the background. So I'll go in for that one. For you to get this document, click in the description to download them. Okay. Click in the description. I have the link in the description. So try and click to download them. So I have this. I'll just take away this uh, rasterize the image and delete that black portion of that image. Very good. So these are the two main sets of images we are going to use. As you can see, we have already done with the birthday design. Yes, we simple one we are done all i need to do is to bring this one down here rasterize the image okay then what i'm going to do now is remove the background for the image all right so now that we have removed the background for the image what you are going to do is we need to take them one after the other so let's work on this one first okay so i'll position this one here the background here then let me take the better stock i downloaded it from their site that's why you see that one there so i'll delete that one okay then i'll create another background you see this background it looks like a gray okay so I have to create another solid background by going there and going for solid color. Then for me here, I will sample this color. Okay, I will sample this. So that we get a uniform background for that. Now we are done with that one. So as you can see, look at this. At first this is how it was now. Look at this very good so we can place the image in there okay and then let's reduce the size of our image so happy birthday something like this okay then we can even bring this one down small like this. Okay. We are done. So happy birthday to you. Then you can add some kind of element of design lines and then names. Very good. So we can write a name here. A name is. Beulah, Beulah Bliss. So you select all and then change the color to match this color, okay? So I'll sample this. Oh, this one is quite darker, so I'll choose this one, okay? Then I'll reduce the size to something like 18. Then I'll position it here. So that is the first thing we can add. Okay. As the first thing you can add and then you can also add some kind of 
can add the date of birth date so we can go and create something like uh, maybe the date the date you can go in for the ellipse okay and create something here Then set the color for the stroke to this. Increase it more like this. Okay, something like this is cool. Control T. Transform this once more like this one. Okay. Then we can add the date in here. But I want to start this one a little so I can make a copy of this then transform this one like this one then i'll go in for the broken line so then i'll select this okay so from here i'll position this one inside hold the shift and then position it okay nicely like this okay nice how do you see this okay so what you are going to do now is to add the dates okay so the date will be uh second may Okay, so select all and then go for auto to space it. Now with the May, you can start with the capital letter. Okay. Then reduce the size for the test. Run the test to this place, okay. Position it in here so second may. Then you can see that the test is uh is too spaced, so we need to reduce it, okay. This point, let's see, six point six point is too close. Let's look at eight, okay. I'll maintain the eight, then I'll bring this one down small like this. So what if we change the second, all of them to caps lock, okay? So, MD, then we change this one to me. Okay, so this one is quite cool. So let's change the point to nine. Something like this is cool, second me. Okay. Now what we are going to do is to add another element of design. This design is very common. We can just place another rectangle under this. So under that layer, I'll create a rectangle. Okay. I'll create a rectangle. Like this. Then I will set the color for that. Okay. So I can bring it to this side or I can place it here. Any way you want it. Okay. But from here, it shows that this, our image, the air did not remove well. Okay. So what we do is we go in for the lasso tool, okay? Go in for the lasso tool, and then zoom in. Okay. And then let's take away this white roughly. 
actually I don't have uh, airbrushes in here so I'm going to move this particular white from there okay okay so now let's see yes so this is the work okay you can still add some kind of element of design to it just create another rectangle here this one can be very small like this okay then change the color to this again and then so you can see that the whole design i maintain one color throughout okay because i don't want it to be more colorful way or something like that so something like that this is very cool so this is the very easy way you can create birthday flyer like this in shortest minute and shortest time less than 30 minutes because i was even explaining that's why it have taken long if you are supposed to do this you will spend maybe two minutes or five minutes to finish up thank you for joining this channel please do all and subscribe we are in another month subscribe subscribe and then let's promote the channel together then I can do more videos for you. Bye-bye.